Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 1995 science fantasy film called The City of Lost Children. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As we begin the film, we see a dream of a young boy in his crib. A rope drops and Santa Claus appears from the chimney. He offers the young boy a toy elephant, but suddenly more Santa Clauses keep appearing, entering the room. The young boy tries to run, but is surrounded. We then see Crank in his laboratory, attached to his dream extractor with the cloned assistants, Le Scaffendrier. Crank screams in agony, causing his assistants to scream as well. Mademoiselle Bismuth quiets the assistants as Crank goes to check on the child whose dream he has just stolen. Elsewhere, young boys Gino and Tadpole explore a carnival. The boys witness a strongman, known as One, perform a feat of strength. The performance is interrupted as One's little brother, Denry, has bitten Gino for stealing. Gino is apprehended by the carny, but a man named Rufus comes to his aid, stabbing the carny. Back at home, One watches over the carny while Denry eats. Outside, members of the Cyclops gang break into One's home. The gang searches around, eventually finding One and his brother. One begins to fight with the gang, but while he is distracted, Denry is taken away. One flees from the Cyclops gang and takes refuge in a house nearby. Orphans Miet, Bato, Pipo, Tadpole, and Jano ask why he is in their home. The Cyclops gang arrives and the children disguise One. The gang leaves, setting off an alarm as they go. Miet and the children gather some money, but leave One behind. Elsewhere, the clones in Bismuth are having a birthday celebration for their uncle Irvin, who happens to be a brain. Crank walks in, irritated by all the noise from the party. Irvin suggests Crank study his own tears to improve the stealing of children's dreams. The clones try to get Crank to cry from laughter, but fail. Irvin tells Crank a fairy tale, which was actually the story of Crank's life. Irving mentions Crank's inability to dream that causes him to age. It is why he needs to steal children's dreams, and Crank finally sheds a tear. Crank then becomes enraged and orders everyone out of the room. At their orphanage, Miet and Genot and the other orphans turn over their earnings to the women known as La Puve. Outside, one comes across Rufus, who is asleep. He locates Miet inside, but makes some noise and alerts the guard dog. La Puve instructs the orphans on their next thieving mission, but are interrupted by one. Later that evening, one has been recruited to go on the mission with the orphan. Using a rat to get the door key, they steal a safe and evade the police. They open up the safe, but one isn't happy about stealing. One sees one of the Cyclops gang's vehicles and runs after it. Miette goes to chase after one and he tells her his brother has been kidnapped. Miette tells one that she already knows where the vehicle is going. One suggests they go together and tells her about how he first met his little brother. Miette leaves one but comes back to get him. Back at the orphanage, La Puve is furious. One and Miette haven't returned. Meanwhile, at the laboratory, Crank summons a clone to tell him about a dream the clone has had. One of the clones also brings a child to Irvin. The clone asks Irvin if there indeed is an original version of the clones, one that is different from the others. Irvin instructs the clone to access the child's dreams and claims this clone to be the original, but is lying. Kraft finally goes to sleep and the clone connects himself to the dream extractor. He then gets up and retrieves the canister of dreams. Irvin tells the clone he is to throw the canister into the sea. Elsewhere, Miet and One sneak into the Cyclops gang's headquarters. One is spotted, but his disguise keeps him safe. Further inside, Cyclops gang leader Gabriel Marie is preaching the gang's doctrine. A group of children, including Denri, are brought before Bismuth. Bismuth inspects the children as One and Miet sneak in through the ceiling. Gabrielle continues to speak, but one interrupts, rushing to rescue Denri. Miet follows him, but both are quickly captured. At the orphanage, La Puve receives information on Miet and one's whereabouts. They are also told the location where the pair will be killed the next night. In the lab, Crank talks with Irving. Irving tells him that Crank is the source of the children having nightmares, 
when he tries to extract their dreams. Irvin further claims that Crank doesn't have a soul, much to Crank's offense. Crank becomes enraged and goes to leave. Bismuth and the clones get ready for Christmas, wrapping presents and decorating. Crank asks Bismuth if they are doing the right thing, and Bismuth tells him he has nothing to worry about. La Puve goes to find Marcelo to hire him for a job, but he refuses. The pair instruct him to find one and Miette, and he finally agrees. Marcelo gathers his tools, train fleas to which he has given a mind control poison to inject into his victims. Back at the lab, Crank tries unsuccessfully to bring joy to the children he has taken. The children cry more and more, and Crank turns his fury on the clones. At the docks, one and Miette are set to be killed. Some of the gang members make bets on who will survive the longest. Amidst their gambling, one of Marcelo's fleas poisons a gang member. Marcelo plays the music, controlling the fleas, and soon takes mind control over the poison gang member. The poison gang member kills two more guys. Marcelo then goes to save one who wants him to save Miette instead. Untying one, Marcelo is too late to save Miette as she falls into the water. She sinks further and further down but comes across a diver underneath the water who takes her away. Bringing her to his home, we come to see that the diner is the actual original, Le Scaffandrier. He searches the surface to see one and Marcello paddling away. Miette finally comes to and recognizes him, but he brushes it off. The original says someone on the surface wants to kill him, but he can't remember who. Showing off his treasure collection, Miette recognizes the safe her group had stolen some days ago. Miette thanks him and goes to leave. She accidentally uncovers a lot of children's toys and the original tells her of the devil, which is Crank, who takes away the city's children. The original instructs her to look for a tattooed man who has the map to Crank's laboratory. Miette scans the surface above, seeing Denri in the distance. Meanwhile, at a local bar, Marcelo and one drown their sorrows with some drinks. Marcelo asks a barwoman named Loon to take care of one and leaves. Loon tries to flirt with one, but he is inconsolable. Outside, Marcelo calls La Puve, informing her to get ready to capture one. Elsewhere, Miette makes her way to the surface. Hiding, she accidentally runs into her friends. She apologizes, informing her friends that the Cyclops gang are stealing children. Her friends tell him that one isn't concerned about the children and is picking up women at the bar. At the bar, one is drinking heavily with Loon, seemingly in better spirits. Miette enters the bar and scolds one for behaving irresponsibly. She also informs him she knows where his brother is, but he passes out drunk. Marcelo can't believe she's alive and Miette recruits him to help her take one out of the bar. She also reveals that she knows Marcelo had betrayed her and he apologized outside. Rufus arrives, honking his horn, and Marcelo tells Miette to run. One is taken away by Rufus's men as the orphans watch in hiding. Jeannot uses some heavy machinery to quickly grab one before he is taken away. Having secured one, the other orphans ask Miette why she is spending so much time with him. She reprimands them, and they sadly walk away, leaving her with one. She sits with one as one of the dreams stolen by one of the clones from earlier falls into the hands of the original. Later, Miette and One try to sleep, and One opens up about his past before he was a strong man for the carnival. He reveals he was a whale hunter until he grew too soft for the job and got fired. Miette asks One what it's like to have a little brother, and One tells her that she is now part of his family as well. Elsewhere, the original is sleeping but is woken up by a disturbance. This causes the dream canister to break and lets the dreams be emitted into the room. They enter into the original and he has dreams about Crank and his lab. In a series of flashbacks, we see the original get into a physical altercation with Crank. Bismuth also attacks the original and they throw him into the sea. The dreams make their way up to the surface and roll throughout the city. The dreams go from window to window, waking up children with nightmares. The dreams make their way to Miette, who then wakes up with a fright. She tells one of her dreams and asks for his help to find a map. At sea, two of the clones are transporting some stolen children, including Denri. After the children are fed, 
La Puve and Rufus are herding Marcelo for information on one's whereabouts. La Puve takes his fleas and leaves him to his fate with Rufus in the lab. Then Ree sneaks into the kitchen and eats a plate of food meant for Crank. He is then spotted and Crank also tries to scare Denri as a joke, but Denri is unbothered. Crank comes to the confusion that Denri is the child he needs to extract dreams from. In the city, one and Miette go to locate the tattooed man, but Miette is tired and sits down. One massages her feet and she asks what he will do once Denri is found. He then carries her through the city as they continue on. At the shop, Miette asks the tattoo artist where to find the tattooed man. After offering a necklace as payment, they come to find that the artist is the tattooed man himself. Back at the laboratory, one of the clones and Bismuth sees activity on their sonar scanner. Erwin claims it to be the Messiah coming to save them, but Bismuth brushes it off. One and Miette steal a boat, but before they leave, one of Marcello's fleas poisons one under La Puve's command. La Puve demands the jewels that were stolen from the safe, and Miette gives them. La Puve takes control over one, who attacks Miette. He almost kills her, but one of her tears sets off a miraculous chain of events that result in a shipwreck that frees one from their control. One and Miette hug, but are spotted by La Puve. Marcello's flea makes its way back to its owner and tells him all that has transpired. La Puve pours oil in the water to finish one and Miette off, but are suddenly poisoned by the fleas. They start fighting themselves, falling into their own trap and dying. One and Miette navigate the mines to Crank's laboratory, while Crank prepares to steal Denri's dreams. Bismuth and the clone see that the original has arrived at the lab. One and Miette also arrive, making their way up. Attaching her to his sweater, Miette goes off to search the area. Miette makes her way up the stairs and is spotted by Bismuth. One is surprised by some of the clones, but dispatches them easily. Elsewhere, Bismuth takes aim to kill Miette, but the original shoots and stops her. He tells Miette to run away. The original prepares some explosives to bring down the lab. He enlists the clones' help and they leave. Bismuth directs Miette to where the children are being kept, but activates a trap door. One saves Miette in the nick of time, but falls in the trap door himself. Miette arrives at where Crank is and begins to speak with Erwin. Erwin instructs her to go inside Denri's dream to save him from Crank. Inside the dream, Miette grabs Denri, but he transforms into Crank. Miette offers to take Denri's place in the dream, and Crank agrees. Meanwhile, the original finds one injured from the fall. Miette takes Denri's place, aging rapidly as Crank grows more youthful. She becomes an old woman while Crank reverts to a baby. Miette exits the dream while Crank is stuck in a time loop, unable to exit the dream, and his mind ends up broken. One wakes up Miette while the original has strapped himself to the laboratory with the explosives. One and the children rush to leave, as well as Erwin and the clones. They all make it outside as the original realizes his mistake. A bird lands on the detonator and everything explodes and the group leaves safely. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel.